All right, so we are looking today at preparing a 940, uh, learning how to prepare a 940. We're starting with um, the Banner Drug Register. And I know you can't read this, but you have this on your screen in front of you. I'm just showing you what we're looking at. I know this is too small to read up here. Does everyone have this in front of them? Okay, it's in Chapter five in Moodle. Okay, so pull this up, have a blank 940 in front of you, and what we're going to do is figure out when these people cap. What is the cap for Buddha again on an annual basis? 7,000. And what's our deposit rules again? We deposit when our food gets to 500 bucks. And we have a schedule on the 940 that shows you got to show how much you owe per quarter. So that's why we're doing this. So we've only got four employees. We're sure value. We uh, pay bi-weekly. In July, there was two paychecks. In August, there was two paychecks. And in September, there was two paychecks. So in total in the quarter, I was paid what? If you guys looking at this, how many times the, were these people paid in the quarter? Right, July twice, August twice, September twice. Six. Six would be the answer. Thirteen. Okay. Are you looking at the other one? Okay. So what we want to do is we want to figure out where people cap. So we're going to have set up the four quarters. Three, four in total. And then we're going to write the employees here. Pima. Oh, I had just taken a trip through the Southwest. The names? Yeah, no, I had just gotten back from like New Mexico. <laughs> That's right, Adam. Okay, and what I want you to do is figure out how much you think each of these employees made um, for each of the quarters. Oh, I am going to have to tell you. Uh, I see that I have a split benefit. Okay, so let's just say first quarter paid six times, second quarter paid seven times, third quarter paid six times, fourth quarter paid seven times. And you know how much they make every time they're paid off of here. So, for example, what I want you to do is uh, uh, Pima makes five twenty a paycheck. And he is paid, utilities calculator, he's paid uh, six times in the first quarter and he makes 520 bucks a pop. So his total wages for the first quarter is 3120. And that's going to be the same in the third quarter, right? Because he's paid six times in the first and the third quarter. Uh, six paychecks times his gross wages. And then in the second and the fourth, he makes 36.40 because he's paid, can you guys see this? First and third quarters are paid six times. Second and fourth quarters are paid seven times because it's a bi-weekly schedule, i got to tell you. you to fill it out for everybody and then I want you to tell me what the total gross wages were for the quarter or for the year excuse me by quarter does everyone see where I'm getting these numbers gross wages times number of payrolls in the quarter everybody on track Yeah, and this isn't really realistic because obviously your overtime changed, but we're just we're just using it because it's what we got. Yeah.
So the gross wages from the payroll register, so for Pima, do you see where the 520 bucks is on the payroll register? Yeah. Yep, and how many times was he paid in the first quarter? Yep. And in the second quarter, seven, and the third quarter, six, and the fourth quarter, seven. I'm trying to get the quarterly wages per person because i got to figure out where people cap, don't I? Okay, and again, realistically, you're not going to have the same overtime all year long, but I'm just using this um, as a way to get your And also, realistically, full disclosure, in the real world, this is all going to print out on a report. But again, why are we doing that? We're doing it so that we can figure out if the report's accurate, right? Six thirty seven times six. And then whenever you do something like this, you foot and cross foot it so you make sure that everything adds up in the columns and the rows, right? And if you're somebody that is pretty proficient in Excel, We'll do the next one in Excel. And I check and make sure that it adds up. Okay.
this little thing down here is called your summary section. And what we have to do now is fill out these five lines, total wages we just did. We need to figure out how much of the total wages are susceptible to FUDA, so our FUDA wages. We need to figure out our FUDA rate. We need to figure out our FUDA liability. And we need to figure out our FUDA deposit, if we have to make a deposit, okay, based on these numbers. Everybody comfortable? Okay. Does anybody cap in the first quarter? No. Nobody gets over uh, 7000 right? So food wages are going to be the same as gross wages. Based on the payroll register that you're looking at, do you have any reason to believe that they're, they're anything other than have the standard food or rate? In other words, do I say they're entitled to all defaults or anything weird? So what's my rate? Well, sorry. <laughs> you're close. You're just off by a decimal point. It's 0.6%, which in your calculator is 0 0.006. It's 0.6%, you guys, less than 1%. In your calculator, you got to go two to the left. You got to add two zeros. So it's 0 0.006 in your calculator. So what's the food liability for the first quarter? Do I have to deposit? No. Go ahead, Kel's question. The total wage is for everybody for all year, but we're going quarter by quarter because we got to figure out where we can. Anybody else have a question about that? Go ahead. So if you don't cap on any of those quarters, you need to quarter Yeah, but we're going to see pretty quickly where people are going to cap. Now. Has P, you'll see this. I mean, I'm not saying don't ask the question, but just see another quarter and then I think it'll answer. Is Pima capping in the second quarter? Does he or she get past 7,000? No. Does Zuni? Yes. So what we have to do is get like a different colored pencil or pen or whatever. And uh, I'm just going to do this and say, how much of his $3,913 of wages do we have to pay FUDA on? We know we don't pay FUDA on all of it. We know where he caps. We know how much he's already made. So figure out how much of his wages are susceptible to FUDA. Yeah. One more time, you know where he caps. You know how much he's made before today. So how much of a second quarter wages are susceptible to food? Okay. And once he's capped, what can I do with the third and fourth quarter? Okay, because once you've capped, you're done. No more food of wages. Please finish. Hopi and Mohawk in the same manner that you did Zuni. Anybody need me to come around and work with them? I'd rather let people ask than not, but I'm sure. Okay. So, so how much did he get to that? Thank you. 
And then obviously, <coughs> if you add up food, you can get food to wages for every quarter. You can actually finish that whole chart. On this one, I add these two numbers together. You haven't capped yet, have you? So then I've got to take whatever that number was, those two first two quarters. And then how did I get this? this guy up. So I'm going to add 3640, 3646, 3412, and 3178 are my food wages for the second quarter, right? Okay, how did you get to 3412? Um, same way I did up here. He's already earned 3588 and he stops at 7000. They're just the difference. You take the 7000 from the 3588? Yeah, well, you take, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the difference, isn't it? Thirteen eight seventy six. No, that's not right. Is it? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Times thirteen eight seventy six times point six. And I still haven't got to five hundred bucks. Obviously, this number is just going to be the same all over, right? I added 3640, 3646, 3412, and 3178, all the food of wages, because I'm trying to figure out how much I've got to pay food on. And in the third quarter, I've only got 240 bucks of wages, and in the fourth quarter, no one, right? my food of wages to add up to. You should be able to just do this in your head. I got four people that all cap. 28,000, right? It should make sense. So I take, now I'm tallying down this way, 13,884 plus, 13,876 plus, 240, yeah, 28 grand. Okay, we're kind of running out of time. So um, can you please get out your 940? We're not gonna fill out the top, but obviously you would. And great. When am I going to give them the hundred and sixty-eight dollars I owe? Yeah, with the nine forty, because I didn't have to deposit during the year, did I? Yep. Yeah. Get over five hundred bucks cumulatively, and I never did, so I just hold on to it all year. Okay. All right. So. Make sure you check it right. Is it the you should take the six point six percent of twenty eight? Yeah, you can check it a whole bunch of ways, you bet. 
All right, so now let's, uh, let's go and look at our 940. And uh, what is the first thing it asked me for in that little top section? Yeah, okay, we're not going to take time right now, but obviously you would fill out the ID number and all the name and address. Um, and so, um, and there's no, it's not my amended, it's not my final, blah, blah, blah. So here is part one, is wanting to know if I'm in a Title 12 state, if I'm multi-state, or if I was late on any SUDA, in which case my rate's going to be adjusted. So we had to pay to one state, MT. I'm not multi-state, and I am not in a state that is subject to a credit reduction, which is that whole I'm in Title 12 default thing. So I do want to just kind of get down to the numbers so that I'm going to make sure we have time for this. Total payments, and is this a quarterly or an annual report? Total payments to all employees. Fill in the number. Everything that you're going to put in here comes from your chart you just did. Total payments to all employees all year. fill this in. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, God darn it. This isn't one of those fill inable forms. And if I start writing on the screen, well, I'll just do it here. What is it again? 6146? Oh, can you see that? Okay. All right. Now, next thing. Jump down. And if you want to put little like, I do this first, and then I go do this, because I'm showing you the order to fill this out in. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. This is the second one we do. Total, it was right the first time. Number two. How, no. <gasps> when I get in a hurry, I get a little crazy. Okay. Seven. Seven. Sure. Seven. That's it. Final, final answer. Total taxable food of wages. Pull it from the chart and plug it in. How much am I paying food on? Twenty-eight thousand. Great. And then, really, we're just doing math. Number six says four plus five equals six, and number seven says three minus six equals seven. So algebraically, what do I have to solve for first? Obviously. Six, because I've got three and seven. I've got line three, I've got line seven. Do what line six says. Forty-two, one sixty-four. Okay. <laughs> How did I solve that? It said 3 minus 6 equals 7. I've got 3, I've got 7. I solve for x. $32,164, right? I'm just following the instructions. So basically what it's saying is I paid them $60,164. Only $28,000 of that is taxable. Therefore, the amount in excess of, of 7000 per person was this number. And then this tells me, I just back up into it, lines 4 plus 5. Number 5 is obviously what we're talking about. Total of payments made to each employee in excess of $7,000. That is this number, right? Yeah. I'm not going to give you anything tricky or you're going to have retirement or dependent care or any of that sort of stuff. So any, any number you got in line six, just back it into line five. So first you do this, then you do that, then you do number, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. And then just, you know, finish it off. Line eight says to do what? 
Yeah, that's your tax, which of course, as Klaus pointed out, should be the same as what's on your chart, 28,000 times 0.6%. I'm going to get in trouble if I scroll now because these numbers are going to sit there and not go in the boxes. So, uh, what, what line are you going down to? So, go down to line 12, please, because you don't have any adjustments and do exactly what it tells you to do. number, right? And then line 13 says, how much did you deposit this year, right? How much did you deposit this year? None, because I didn't have to. That number, number never got over 500 bucks. And then what's my balance due line? 14. Same number, 168 bucks. All right, four minutes, second page. <laughs> Keep moving. Okay, I'm sort of kidding. I want to make sure everyone's tracking. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Daniel, Alec, everybody in the back row. Okay. Read the top of the second page. Oh, yes. Top of the second page. Uh, report your FUDA tax liability by quarter only if line 12 is more than 500 bucks. Is it? No. So we just did all that for nothing. <laughs> but you got to do it. Okay. So you don't have to put anything in there. But if you did, if it was over, say it was $1,680, <coughs> I just pull the numbers straight from there. I've got the food from the chart. I've got the food of wages. Where am I? I've got the food of wages by quarter. And I would just plug in the numbers 16A, how much do I owe for the first quarter? 8330. Second quarter, 83. You know, if I had to do this section, I would just pull the numbers from right there. But all I do is sign it, and I'm done. So for when you come back from spring break, Okay, let me just shut down the recording. Okay.